Hello YouTube. Well, it's time to get started on setting up the uh, trolley, anchor trolley. Uh, last episode we fixed these clips, the straps that hold down the crate. So I'm about ready to get set up here and uh, I'll show you everything I've got, all the supplies you'll need to do a anchor trolley. Let me get with you on that now. Okay, these are the supplies you'll need. First of all, I've got a set of pad eyes. There's five to a carton. These are the yak gear. They have the screws instead of the uh, pop rivets. I don't know about that. I, I'm not too much on screws, but uh, I'll give them a shot. If they don't work, I can always exchange, uh, take them out and put pop rivets in. Uh, the E6000 <coughs> sealant. I'm also going to install a cleat, the appropriate screws. You might need a tape measure uh, and a Phillips head screwdriver. I also have some denatured alcohol, some type of cloth to wipe up the mess. The denatured alcohol is really good about uh, cleaning up the, uh, uh, the silicone if you smear it. And of course, you'll need some kind of Sharpie, uh, a permanent marker to uh, Oh, mark your uh, locations where you got to drill for the screws. All right. Oh, yeah. Of course, you'll need a drill with a small bit. You'll need your anchor trolley kit. This one happens to be a, a Bass Pro version. It comes with the pulleys, or the rope, and uh, the pad eyes. As I mentioned, those are the supplies we needed to get started on uh, setting up the anchor trolley. All right. First of all, You want to know exactly where you want to start the first pulley. And what I've done, I've taken a measurement from the back of the boat. I've taken a measurement from the back, right here where it bends over. And I'm setting mine right about 11 inches, right from the middle. The center is 11 inches. So, and how this, how I've got this. Uh, set up how it works is I have a pulley and I put a uh, oh one of those easy clip carabiners uh, on it and then I'm going to put my I'm sorry did you see that I have a carabiner I have the pulley that came with the uh, trolley system this I bought separate uh, a small carabiner and then that clips onto the pulley and then this will go under the pad eye so that way I'll have a way of taking the rope off or taking the entire system off if I have to to replace anything. So I've already, after I measured, I've already marked this with a sharpie. So now I'm going to drill the holes. Okay, I'm going to drill a couple of pilot holes. I'll have to tell you, it is a little nerve-wracking whenever you're drilling holes in your boat. Try to uh, put a little bit of the uh, silicon on the hole. We'll clean up any excess. I've got alcohol. That's why you use the alcohol. And uh, <clears throat> what else? Kind of like put a little bit of the uh, silicon on the screws before you put them in the hole itself. At the, it doesn't hurt to put a little bit around the screw uh, at the head of the screw too, just to keep water from going down into the eyelet. I think this is a little overkill, but uh, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. All right, another screw. 
Let me tighten this a little bit more. This is why you keep a cloth. And you don't want to over tighten because uh, you could strip out the strip out the hole and then you will have a major problem. Then you'll have to use pop rivets. Okay, use a little denatured alcohol to clean up your mess. At all. So the next thing is, I'll just put my turnbuckle or my uh, carabiner in and rotate it and lock it in place. And now I've got one pad eye and pulley installed. Um, I'm going to put the rope through that pulley for right now. All right, get it untwisted here. Okay, I got my uh, trolley rope uh, all uh, laid out now. What I've done is I've taken the other uh, pulley and carabiner and put it on the on the rope since this rope was already cut and I need to keep my uh, measurements more accurate. And then I'm going to lay it out here on the boat. Then I'm going to put the pad eye in place. I'm keeping a little tension on the rope. I want the rope to come right along the handle there. I don't want it to ride up here like too high. So I'm going to keep it right about there. I'll put a couple more pad eyes over here to help keep the rope level. So I'm going to set, I think I'll put my mark right there. Okay, little pre-drill. So just like the other hole, put a couple of dabs of uh, silicone on the surface of the boat. bit on the screw end. And just a little bit under the head. the other screw. Okay, I've got enough on it that it's going to squish under the head anyway. There. You know, if you skip a little bit on this cleanup, don't worry, it dries clear. And not only that, you can take an X-Acto or razor blade and clean up any excess. Okay, now I've got that cleaned up. 
I'm going to take the rope back off the loop and off the pulley so I could get my pad eye and everything set up. And then that way I'll uh, put the rope on and show you how to tie the proper knot. It's going to be like a slip knot where you can adjust the rope because uh, eventually it will slip or it will stretch. Okay, just like before, just take the uh, carabiner, put it through the eyelet, the pad eye, and now that's in and secured. Screws are tightened. Double check just to be sure. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they sure are. Now the next thing I want to set up is my uh, cleat. It's the, uh, we call it zigzag cleat. Got it. Right. This is going to hold the rope in place once you set your anchor so that the wind can't blow you and move or shift your anchor or shift your boat while it's on anchor. All right, this will hold it, hold it in place. So I'm going to set it right about here. That's about where I had it on my other one. So it's a real good place because you're going to be here in the seat you want to reach, be able to reach down and uh, place the rope in the zigzag cleat uh, so it's going to be comfortable to you. All right, so I'll put it right about there. And another thing I, I want to make sure is you wanted to put your pad eyes well up above the water line. I noticed whenever I had my other one, the water line came up to about this seam and maybe just a little bit higher. So, you know, I can't remember if my other cleat, that's about, as, if you're gonna put it on the side, some people like to put it up here, I don't. That gets in the way of everything. Um, I prefer to put it here, so I'm going to put a little as high as you can away from this water line. At least put the screw holes as far as you can away from the from there. I like to put it there, but uh, it's not a really good surface. It's not flat. It's kind of caved in. So I think I'll put it right about here. Get it up as high. Yeah, about where I had it. Get it up as high as I can. There. Pre drill. drill the other hole all right since this this cleat has uh, such a large surface not only am I going to put it in the holes but I'm going to put some around the edges of the cleat to keep water from going down behind it So I'll spread a little bit of silicon around the holes a little bit. And now this, when I push that cleat on, this will get all, this will get spread out and uh, give a good cover to the back side of this cleat and help seal the uh, edges. Now let's do the screws also. I like to put a little bit of on this thread. Now as I push that in, the thread, the, the glue I put on the, or the silicon I put on the uh, thread, it's gonna get spread all the way up to the head, so. screws are a little bit heavier than the ones I put in for the pad eyes so it's taking a little bit more effort I didn't change the drill bit I'm keeping the same drill bit yeah the drill bit I'm using 
what you do, you want it several sizes smaller than the screw. You don't want to over drill the hole because then you'll find yourself uh, stripping the screw out. So go several sizes under than what you really need for the screw in case you didn't know that. Okay, now, I can see some of the, uh, uh, some of the silicone is squeezing out around the edges, and that's what you want. Um, now, I'm going to put the rope on. Okay, what you want to do here is run, run your rope, the end that doesn't have the ring on, of course, run it from the bottom up on the front pulley and the bottom down on the rear pulley. Then when you grab your ring and pull them tight, you want that rope on the top and your ring, the one with the ring, and this is the one that's going to be, okay, I'm going to put this in here and, and tag it down like that so it'll hold it. Now this is, this is like I said, this is going to be the one where you attach your anchor to or you'll put your stakeout pull through. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to tie this and you leave yourself a little bit of slack to where if you wanted to loosen it to get some slack in your anchor line or you can tighten it in case the rope uh, stretches over a period of time. All right. So what you want to do is, is kind of like make a figure, take the tag in, bring it around, kind of like a figure nine. All right like so. Then what you're going to do, take, take this tag in, you're going to run it around the back side of the loop, and you're going to wrap itself inside that loop once, twice, three, and four times if you can get it inside that same loop. And then you want to snug it up, pull it nice and tight cinch it down really good. Now, typically if this was a new rope, you would want to uh, burn the end and put a little mushroom end on that so it doesn't flare out and uh, make a mess. So there you go. Now, what I like about this is if you want to tighten, if your rope's loose and you want to tighten it really good, now you've got it nice and, and, and Nice and snug. Now you got a nice snug uh, trolley <clears throat> rope. Or you can loosen it up. Like I said, you can just pull it loose and uh, give your anchor some slack. I've seen uh, this riding up on uh, a lot of people's kayaks on different videos. And to me, it's just, it's aggravating. It would seem like you'd get tangled in your gear. So what I'm going to do now is install a couple more pad eyes in key locations that will help, that will help uh, pull that rope down to a level, to a level where uh, more manageable. And on this one, instead of mounting it perpendicular, I'm going to turn it about 45 degrees. And that will help uh, take up a lot of slack in the uh, rope itself. So I figure somewhere right about there for this one. Yeah, it's going to be right on my feel free, but. Uh, I don't, that's not going to hurt me any. 
and then somewhere right about there so yeah so you'll put these wherever you're comfortable with putting them I would say somewhere halfway back between where your cleat or where your chair is between each run so I'm going to uh, pre-drill the holes and uh, get everything set up and I'll be right back with you okay ready to uh, I got my pad ice laid out I got them laid out to where uh, I want them to hold this rope in a proper place now I'm just gonna drill Y'all want to show you something too. This came with uh, a couple of little uh, caps that go on the end of the screws. They go on the end of the screws like that. And you want to use these anywhere that's going to, that these screws are exposed, like the ones that I put up at the bow of the boat. These things are going to be sticking out on the inside of the kayak inside my storage compartment so if i'm up in there reaching around uh, to grab my gear out well guess what this thing's going to slice you open not only that but it could tear up any of your uh, your gear like your clothing or any pouches that you might put in there it could rip them open and if they're waterproof it's going to defeat the purpose of that so anywhere these things are exposed or at least you can get to the back of the uh, the kayak or inside the kayak that you can get access to these put these little end caps on Keep you from hurting yourself or tearing your gear up but Now in these locations like this it's not needed because uh, we're not going to have our hands or any gear uh, near this area All right, I went ahead and finished off these other two pad eyes, got them all cleaned up. I ran my rope through them. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it makes for a really nice installation. Uh, neat, got my rope where it's not flopping up into the gear. Uh, this makes, uh, it's tight, pr fairly tight right now. Uh, what I like about this ring is you just come here like so and pop that on your cleat. And, you're, and it's not flopping up and down when you're hauling your boat and snagging into other things uh, in the back of your truck or on your trailer. Well, that concludes the video on the anchor trolley. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed your presence along with me. I guess that'll do it for now as far as any more installation. All I've got to do is install my gear, uh, put the crate, on the seat in it, grab my fishing poles, put the power pod in, and I'm ready to go test the boat. I'll have you along for that if you will, and we'll see how this one does in the water. So thank you for watching. Until then, I'll see you on the water. Have a good day.